Hello and welcome back to the Coach's Legacy channel. In this video, we'll explore how to scroll down to the bottom of a page using Selenium in Python. So first of all, why would we even want such a feature? Well, this, is, this feature is useful in cases where the website loads as you scroll. Okay, this is very common in things like, you know, YouTube Shorts and many other similar websites and many e-commerce websites as well because it's kind of load products as you scroll down. It's more efficient that way for one reason because you don't have to load everything at once. You load products slowly as the user scrolls down. And number two, it's actually a deterrent towards uh, scrapers because the slow loading process actually messes up with stuff like Selenium because uh, Selenium like renders the web page and then immediately it just you know takes that as a response the HTML, and then it uh, we can run different commands on it. But when it when stuff loads asynchronously, like with JavaScript, for example, then the website gets rendered like over time. So that kind of messes up with Selenium. So one way that we can get around this is to use scrolling, to scroll slowly through the web page, and that way we can you know simulate a real user scrolling down so more and more things will get rendered if we use this feature basically the scrolling feature so this website that i have here it's adidas it has shoes and stuff on their page on this url over here so i want to show you what happens without the scrolling okay this is this is the scroll code that i've written so currently i don't have this you know running i am going to run this code and we're just not gonna touch anything until it's completed basically we're getting the shoe prices okay you see over here we're getting the shoe prices and i've also put a timeout for three seconds just so we can see the website all right so that's it now look over here we got eight uh we got eight different shoes prices. And if I actually visit this website, you're gonna see that there's actually a lot more. I just opened up the link. So you're gonna see that there's actually a lot more than just eight shoes over here. Okay, there are quite a few. But the deal is that you can see that the prices aren't showing up. They kinda they kinda load asynchronously, I think. I mean I would have to look at the code or the network bar in the inspect tool element to be sure. But I think that they might be doing this as a deterrent, maybe, because uh, it's kind of convenient that only the prices take so long to show up. So you can see over here that the prices take a while. So this is where the scroll scrolling thing really comes in handy. Okay, so I'm going to uncomment this code and we'll just see the effect of it first before we, you know, uh, before we discuss the code itself. So let's just run, the, let this code run. And the first time we got eight shoe prices. Let's see how many we get this time. And we're also, we're also gonna get to see it uh, scroll. That's the nice thing about this. It's gonna load first, by the way, before the loading code actually gets there. The web driver code, uh, the get function. So now it's scrolling. And the interval that I have there with the sleep function is gonna control how fast it, uh, how fast it, you know, scrolls. So, Loading pretty slow. I think my net's a bit slow right now. Okay, but uh, it's pretty much over. Okay, we got 35. I'm gonna run this again, change the interval to one, and hopefully this loads a bit better this time. Because you kind of need to set the interval based on your scenario, really. Uh, how fast your internet is, how slow the website is. So the interval, well, that's something you need to figure out yourself by running it a few times. Okay, so let's see how it goes this time. All right, so it's beginning scrolling and we can see that the interval is helping because now we can see all the product prices there and it's, uh, it looks good. Okay, good, good. No missing prices this time. That was a good interval. Okay, there we go. So let this close. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what this error is. This is the first time I'm seeing it, but I don't think it has any impact on the code because 48 is the correct number of shoe prices. So as you can see, we are now getting the correct number of prices 
without scrolling, we were getting 8, and now we're getting 48. That's a very, very, very big difference. And some websites, on this difference will be even greater because, you know, those are entirely scroll-based, for example, like YouTube Shorts. So let's talk a bit about the code over here. So first of all, well, the only important line over here is really this, okay? This uh, execute script function that runs JavaScript code. So here is the JavaScript that we want to execute, and we've passed an argument to it. So what this function does, what this JavaScript code does is scrolls the window. So this parameter is the important one. It tells it how much to scroll. Now, how much you want to scroll and how much of the interval, how much interval you want to keep between the scrolls is something entirely up to you. You can customize this code however you want, but I'll just explain what I've done here. And maybe it'll give you some idea on what to do for the website that you're trying to scrape. So what we're doing here is basically getting all the products and then dividing them by four because four is the number of products in each row. So that's what we call scroll times. And then we initialize this thing to zero. Then we are basically like, for example, there are 10 rows. So what we're going to do is scroll 10 times. Okay. And how much we're going to scroll? We're going to scroll by 400, which is the height of each row. Get it? So that's the logic that we've made here. And we're using the time dot sleep function to slow it down. There is one more interesting thing. I have this other code over here that I've also made. Uh, it's purely a JavaScript way of doing things without any Python code at all. Basically just execute script and that's it. It's a scroll code. I'll include a link to this in the description below. Uh, you, you can take this code from there. This is where we're going to end this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it.